for a little fun! So, what's going on? Hmm, what? Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Perhaps so. I'm telling you, I heard something. And I'm telling you, it's the wind blowing between your ears. Let's finish our rounds then. Hey, the door's open. Oh, gods, the coin, the one he stole from the demon girl. One of us has to tell him. So a thief slipped in under your nose? I'm glad you told me. And this thief was kind enough to leave a note. How considerate. So, Nishka, war, is it?
Yes. How can I help? Stay close and step where I step. So, Cormac tells me you're largely responsible for clearing the docks of undesirables. In an uncompromising fashion, it seems your approach has only provoked Moya's gang into retaliating. Last night, they attacked the Watch directly. The cowards put one of our posts to the torch, killed Lieutenant Rowe. They attacked us for doing our duty. The Lieutenant was a good man. His post at the docks was a difficult one, but he kept the peace with an understanding that perhaps too much justice only causes more unrest. He was too soft on them. I say we get the Watch to round up every bastard at the docks until we get these killers. The Watch will act, Marshal. But more force will not root them out. We will need time and patience. We need to rebuild our presence in the docks and send the message to Moya and her cutthroats that we will not back down. To do this, we need someone with unflinching dedication to the laws of Neverwinter. And that is why I summoned you here. I would like you to take Lieutenant Rowe's place. Despite your foul approach to the situation at the docks, I think your promotion will send a strong message to the lower and upper quarters of the city. Very well. I think the Watch will benefit from your experience. And your social graces, it seems. Marshal Cormac has told me of your interest in Black Lake. You may wish to reconsider your intention to go there. Perhaps you haven't heard of the murders there. Another nobleman has been killed. Gentry was but the first. I will permit only the most trusted of the Watch to enter Black Lake. Serve me well, and I shall grant you access, but not before. We cannot attack Moya's gang directly. They have no base, so we must target their operations instead. Bleed them of gold and men until they have nothing left. The situation at the docks is in danger of becoming worse. What was at first opposition from Moya and her gang is threatening to become all-out war. I had thought they would not risk drawing blades against us in the streets, but through our informants, we've discovered that they are actually smuggling in a cache of weapons to do just that. They are planning for a fight. And if the reports on the number of weapons coming in are true, then the Watch will quickly be outmatched. Stop the shipment, and put an end to the smuggling for good. You are the only one we can trust for the job. Many of the Watch in the Docks District tend to turn a blind eye when coin is involved. And they should be rounded up as well. One problem at a time, Cormac. By the time we've dealt with the smuggling, perhaps then the costs of the Neverwinter Reconstruction will be reduced, which should allow us to pay Watchmen their rightful salary. Oh, indeed. Because it is the lack of coin, not loyalty. That is the problem. Is that it? Maybe your eyes are blinded by coin too, Captain? You are the short-sighted one, and your blindness is that of a stubborn mule. This is not a black and white matter, Cormac. The docks are the only revenue source from trade we have. We cannot even patrol the roads for merchants to feel safe. So we need every watchman, even if only as a presence there. We do not need those scarecrows. Those turncloaks are boils on Neverwinter's name, and they'll give every thief in the city an open door to our throat. If we allow them to become any more blind for every gold coin, we might as well throw down weapons now. And what do you propose, Cormac? With the funds being diverted to reconstruction, the pittance a watchman makes is temptation for anyone to look for gold elsewhere. We must make do until reconstruction is finished, no matter what it takes.
At least someone is speaking sense. Silence, Cormac. Enough of this. I think we can at least agree on who should tackle this matter. Lieutenant, you have proven yourself to us, and you have done so at great personal risk, as you are no doubt marked for death by Moya and her gang. Excellent. Now, I cannot say it won't be dangerous, but stopping this operation may come with benefits. Whatever you confiscate from the smuggled goods can be used to build up the presence of the Watch in the Docks District. And any Watchmen found aiding these thugs should be dealt with. We need no division in our ranks. The smuggling operation is your assignment, Lieutenant. I want that dealt with. Once the smugglers at the docks have been brought to justice, I think we will need to fear little in the way of future bribery attempts. Although there are times when bribery can work to our advantage as well. Our informant left word that the shipment will be smuggled through the back alley in the docks. We need you to go in and stop the weapons from reaching their destination. Be careful once you're in. The back alley is infested with petty criminals and alley bashers. Now hurry, that shipment must be stopped. You have your orders, Lieutenant. The smuggling operation through the back alley must be stopped. You have your orders, Lieutenant. The smuggling operation through the back alley must be stopped. My Lord Nasher, I came as soon as I received your summons. Ah, Sir Naval. We were just speaking of you. These men are from the Trade Guild, and I was telling them of the Watch's successes at the docks. And they were about to tell me of their renewed efforts to ensure new ships in the harbor this season, to compensate for the loss of overland travel. The season has been a lean one for Neverwinter, my lord. The citizens will be pleased to see more ships in the harbor and the cargo they bring. Quite right. Thank you for your efforts, Sir Naval. Congratulations are in order for you and the Nine. My Lord Nasher, I shall pass along your praise to the Watch. I believe much of their recent success is the result of our new recruits. So be it, Naval. After the war with Luskin and the Plague, it is good we can finally turn our attention to where it belongs. And the certain matter of back taxes owed at the harbor. Of course, my Lord Nasher. With your leave, I will return to my duties. Hmm. You may go, Laval. After all, the Guild and I have much to discuss. We came at once when we received your summons, Lord Garius. At such distances, I did not realize your aspect could... Shadows grant many gifts, Torio. 
But time is short, and the longer we speak, the greater the chance of detection. Torio informed me of your troubles in infiltrating Black Lake Lawn, so I am sending assistance. Has she? The Sea Ghost sails from Luscan to the docks of Neverwinter, carrying allies of our cause. Allies, my lord? Yes. I have dispatched agents to assist your infiltration of Black Lake, Dorio. Unless you disagree. Not at all. But I had hoped for the chance to see to the matter personally, without... I only need more time, my lord. I will find a way past Black Lake's walls. No, Lorne. You will be needed elsewhere to deliver a message for me to our other allies to the east. I could spare one of the Circle of Blades, my lord. They are eager for work, both in infiltrating Black Lake or sending word to the orcs. No, it is not an assassination I need, Lorne. Only your presence. You will be escorting some of our priest allies, who, like the orcs, require a more... Personal touch. We are sending the Shadow Priests to Old Owlwell? As for you, Torio, watch for the Sea Ghost. I shall be in contact with you shortly before its arrival. Us kids are just sticking together, trying to make a living, but we don't bow to no one. You're going to work for us now, boy. Please, Da, don't beat me. I promise I won't drop the basket again. What? I try my best, honest I do. Just don't beat me like Emma. She can barely walk on that leg now. Look at the poor boy. Someone ought to. It's not like that at all. This boy is a... Well, he's a thief! Don't tell me you believe him! Dropping a basket is wrong, he tells me. You can get a good thrashing for that, like most everything. What are you planning to do to this boy of yours? You walk away this time, Wolf. This time. That's right. You run. Are you all right, lad? I'll be fine, thanks to you, kind strangers. Especially you.
will regret it. Looks like we have company. It looks as if there are two packs before us, and one pack looks to be members of the Watch. Those Watch? Moya must have gotten her hooks into them. Look, those turncoats are even keeping company with dog rats. They're just going where the money is. If you're going to risk your life, do it for the highest pay you can get. Forget I said anything. Besides, neither of you have lived in Neverwinter to see how tough life can be here sometimes. Ha! <laughs> Traitors! They're lower than the foulest of demons. At least your kind don't pretend to be anything else. My kind? I could say the same thing. <sighs> the two of you, quiet down. You're going to attract attention.
docks are composed of dead timber, but I can keep a small flame from traveling far. It could distract the watch for a time, but the thugs, we'll have to handle them. Too many of them to bribe. I could always slip past them and set a small fire. Maybe a large one. Trust me, that'll get their attention. These docks are composed of dead timber, but I can keep a small flame from traveling far. It could distract the watch for a time, but the thugs, we'll have to handle them. Stay in the shadows and stay safe. I'll return shortly. Fire! Help! Guards! By the gods, not tonight. All right, men, move to it! Before the whole docks go up in flames! Where do you think you're going? Moya's paying you to stay with us. Let the rest of the watch handle it. You paid us to look the other way, not let the docks burn down. Just stay here. We'll be back soon enough. That should keep the watch occupied, and I took care that the fire would not spread. It won't hold their attention for long, and that still leaves the thugs for us to handle. I'm just so pleased I could. I feel out of sorts in this city. Not at all like West Harbor, is it? My steel will strike true.
Conforus. We won't both want. <laughs>
Lieutenant, what have you to report? It is as we suspected. Our informant was correct. I will need you to report to the meeting point at once and deal with those who were intended to receive the shipment. I suspect it will be much easier to handle without the weapons they were meant to pick up. But be cautious. I also want you to keep an eye out for anything there that might shed more light on their smuggling operations. We've shut down one smuggling route, but they must have others. Fortune to you, Lieutenant. And see to it these men are dealt with. <laughs> 